Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Leah and I am all about spending less and creating more. I love to share with you how you can do the same thing in your kitchen, which oftentimes is going to start in the grocery store. So if you are finding yourself unable to stick to the budget that you had previously set for yourself, especially in the midst of the inflation that's going on, or if you're just getting into a rut with your cooking and you're wondering, how can I spend a little bit less and still create more? I have a whole playlist of meal ideas listed down for you in the description box, most of which are kind of frugal and allows you to think of new ways to use ingredients that you may not have really thought about before. Which leads me to one of my all-time favorite frugal tips for you. When you go to the grocery store, if you're the kind of person that makes a list and takes that in with you and says, this is the meat I need, these are the vegetables I need, you're already off to a good start by having a list ready to go, but try going in there with flexibility instead of a starchy list. If you see that a certain kind of meat or vegetable is on sale, incorporate those into your meal plan. And maybe if you had roast on your list, but there are no roast sales going on, switch it up a little bit and choose a different kind of meal. Or if you're doing a meal like spaghetti and you were going to use ground beef, but you find that ground turkey is way on sale or on clearance, try it with ground turkey instead. Now, whether the sale is on meat, cheese, or even your favorite drinks, stocking up whenever they are really on sale is the way to go. Instead of saying every single week I buy a case of Coke, maybe try to buy three cases once a month whenever they're on super sale. so crazy there is definitely a shortage on or at least a supply issue with a lot of variety of the chicken especially the kind that we normally like to get but um i do like the popcorn this popcorn chicken from Pilgrim's is pretty good okay so they finally have our favorite chicken that's his chicken nuggets hold on i wanted the chicken bites Okay, so this is our favorite. It's air fried, it has way less fat than a traditional fried chicken bite. So this is the kind that we've been getting in place of it because it's what's been available, but you can see here, 15 grams of fat for 87 grams or 3.5 grams of fat for 85 grams. So that's a clear winner. All right, so we're gonna start over here. I enjoy having some Coke Zero, Dr. Pepper Zero. Um, it just kinda helps our day have a little bit of happy in it. So what I do is stock up when it goes on sale. Right now they are three cases for 12 something. So I got three, there's just two showing here. Uh, they're out of Dr. Pepper Zero. It's very hard to find it. So we got Cherry Coke and regular Coke Zero. I also picked up these yogurt ice cream bars. There's the vanilla bean, which is 100 calories a piece, and then the mint chocolate chip, which is 120. And these are pretty good. Um, it's definitely not the same as ice cream, but it gives you the same feel. And it's just, it's less fat. So here, I'll show you the macros on the back if you're interested in that. We also picked up our favorite s'mores cereal and the Fruity Pebbles with Marshmallow. There is a digital coupon for those. So we like to just go ahead and pick these up when they go on sale. These are like $4 boxes of cereal and I don't pay that. So again, stocking up a little bit when there is a sale. I also picked up with a digital coupon some russet potatoes. I'm almost out and this is just a really easy lunch or snack. Throw some cheese on it. The mandarin oranges, 99 cents a bag on the clearance section, as well as this entire pack, one and a half pounds of cherry tomatoes. This is such a fun snack. I love having them plain with salt, with ranch, put them on a salad. These are good in eggs in the morning, all kinds of things. This is a little bit more of an expensive item. They're about $1.25 a piece, I believe, but there is protein. And if you're gonna have something sweet, but you still wanna get some protein in, this is a really great option. There's so many flavors. So I got four of those. I also got bananas, regular price, with a little bit of green on them still. And then these apples were 99 cents for the bag of five. 
from the clearance section, so that was exciting. Yellow is Dakota's favorite. This is one of my favorite items. $1.79 is a really great price. The Spicy Pepper Jack. Weston loves these as well. There's 30 calories per piece. I love that they're individual, but they're also spreadable, creamy cheese. So that's delicious. And then I also got the yogurt. This is the Zero Sugar Vanilla and Strawberry Cheesecake. Malin already had one of those today, but I did get four, and that was... $8 for 10 of them, so you didn't have to buy all 10 to get the price. Um, and then I also got two of the Chobani Complete. These have 25 grams of protein. Weston had one of them for his snack today. The Fair Life is a really great milk, and it has just more protein, less sugar, so that's a really good one. And then just the standard organic vitamin D for the kids. I love that too. And then a friend of mine, her chickens are laying eggs again. So I'm getting one to maybe two dozen a week from her. So I probably won't be needing to purchase eggs at the grocery store. Those are definitely cheaper, but fantastic. So I get those from her. This was a clearance item that I found. It's turkey and spinach bites. It has carrots, brown rice, herbs. For $4.09, I really don't even know what the regular price is, but I wanted to give it a try. It says they're marketed toward kids, but this would even make a really good addition to one of my lunches. You get two bites for 80 calories. They're kind of low fat, 10 grams of protein, and bacon. Oh my goodness. So I only buy bacon when it's on sale or I'll get it from Costco. This was on sale, but I can't even, like my mind is blown the new regular price for this is $27 for three pounds. I just, and that's the store brand. I just can't. Um, crazy. So let me know, what is the price of bacon where you're at? I'm, I'm interested to know. And then they finally had our Tyson air fried chicken back in stock. The spicy chicken bites, 75% less fat. So here I'll show you on the back. These are so delicious. I'll throw them in the oven. Get them nice and crispy and then put some sauce with it. You can serve it with rice just as an appetizer. Um, they're so good. So I got that. That is everything from Kroger. And now I'm going to share with you my Thrive Haul. All right. So I haven't shared with you a Thrive Haul in quite a while. I usually get them every couple of months. Some of their items are just such a good price. It's definitely worth it. And I love that I don't have to worry about if they're in stock. A lot of times there are issues with things being in my stores. So I went ahead and picked up a couple of these Kodiak mixes. There are two for the flapjack waffle mix. And then I also got this protein muffin mix. It's a double dark chocolate. So I thought that would be really nice. Each one has a serving um, protein amount of 15 or 14 grams of protein. All right, so this is another item we're going to be using for a meal next week. We're going to make some sushi. At least we're going to try to. So wish me luck on that. I'm officially going to do it. I've said it for months, but I'm going to. More of our ketchup. This is just a lower sugar and it's organic. And then we also needed some more jam. We were completely out of strawberries. So I went ahead and just ordered another one. I love that they package everything so well. Everything just stays really safe. Nothing has ever leaked on me. Nothing has ever broken. You can see how they double package everything. And this is my all time favorite jam. They have it in so many different flavors. It's a fruit spread that's made with juice. There's five grams of added sugar, but it's so much less than other brands. So I went ahead and got that from them. Um, you might've seen other videos of mine where I've used their peach one. We love all of them. They're so good. And then this is my collagen. Dakota has been using it a little bit lately, but this is just an extra way for me to get some protein in the morning without even tasting it. And it has been so good for my hair and my nails. Just love this stuff. I highly recommend it and they have such a great price. Then I also got the fruise balls for the kids. This is something that you can get at Trader Joe's in smaller packages, but they don't reseal. And I love that at Thrive Market, you have more flavor options and they come in these canisters that you can just close the lid back on. So you don't have to decant them. And this time I went ahead and got the peanut butter and jelly and the blueberry crumble. They do have a lemon flavor that I want to try. So there is everything from Thrive Market for this month. Again, there's the two boxes of the pancake mix plus muffin mix. 
I am excited about trying the sushi this week. So if you are interested in trying Thrive Market for yourself, in the description box, I have a code for you, just a referral bonus, I'm not sponsored but you get a bonus and I get a bonus whenever you sign up. I definitely think it's worth it for certain items. And if you are dealing with any specific dietary restrictions or requirements, things that you prefer to stick to, maybe your local grocery store doesn't have them in stock very often, things that are difficult to find, or even things that are going to be a better price at Thrive Market. So definitely check them out. Check out the link down below to get your money back whenever you sign up. And now let's get into the meal plan. So as always, I like to make sure that I have our meal plan based on things that we already have, utilize things that need to be used up before they go bad. Now this particular week, I don't really have anything in my fridge or on my counters that need to be used quickly. So I'm just going to make a list of five different meals. They don't have to be used in any specific order, but based on how the week is going or busyness that we've got going on, I'll pick certain ones of those meals. Like if we're having a busy meal, that's probably going to be whenever we have our Thai chili chicken using the freezer chicken. And then we'll have some rice. And it's just a really nice Asian bowl. I have shared how I make that in a video that I'll link down for you below. It's super easy and delicious. Then another day we're going to do some chimichangas, which I've also done a video on that for you as well. So I'll have it linked. We'll do that with some rice probably or chips and queso. Another meal that I wanna do is sushi. So I'm really excited. I do still need to purchase some crab for that. I forgot to when I was at the store. So I'll need to make sure I get that and probably avocado. Another day we're going to make some homemade pizza. Weston was asking how we make homemade pizza. He forgot. It's been so long since you've done that, so I know we'll need to add that to the plan and have some salad with it. We're also going to be going on vacation. We'll cause two of our days to not have anything really planned for, and we usually go out to eat once a week anyway. So that is how our meal plan is looking this week. Hopefully today's video gave you some inspiration that you can spend less and still create more. Don't forget, if you are feeling a little bit stressed, maybe look for some ways where you too can cut a little bit out, spend less and give more of yourself so that you can enjoy a more creative life. I hope to see you next time. Until then, I'll see you in the comments.